The following is a presentation of Play Fly Sports Properties and Michigan State Sports Properties. Welcome, every guy, everybody. Man, this is an exciting day. It's Wednesday, December 20th, 2023. Welcome to the only show about Spartan Dogs, hosted by Spartan Dogs. This is Sparta MSU. I'm your host, Jason Strayhorn, along with my co-host, the boss, Otis Wiley, and J.U. Choo Choo Culkrick. Guys, look, this is a special day. This is National uh, Early Signing Day for football players all over the country a special day for their families to be able to make their uh, commitments known and put it in writing, fellas. And we are now going to go through the players who have pledged their allegiance to Michigan State University, fellas. How, how about you talk about how it was when you guys signed your national letters of intent? It was just like we're about to go through right now. It was uh, no flair. It was in the library. Uh, had already had faxed it in. And uh, I didn't know the whole, um, you know, run a show of like, hey, here's some fake papers. Just act like you signed the deal. You already signed it. Um, you know, back then it was very, like, stressful because, like, clearinghouse, you want to make sure everything was clear. You was eligible and everything. Like, you know, I didn't have no issues, but you just never know. Something, like, come out the woodwork like, yeah, the class you took does not <laughs> align with. Like you're like, can I get accepted? I need that acceptance letter too, like into the into the university. So uh it was very I think we had one local news st station uh in Flint, and that was it. And it was on and dusted. Like we was like done and dusted quick. <laughs> yeah, the, you talk about that that clearinghouse part of things. Like I was stuff, you know, it was a little different. I was from my area there, my high school, the first kid to get a D1 scholarship, you know, in mm. any sport there. So, yeah, Mama and Pookie, everybody come out when we're like, <laughs> ah, you so, so it, was, so it was, it was scary because like no one knew, like, you know, you talk about making sure everything got there, the clearinghouse, like, this is all uncharted territories for everybody. We didn't know if we were messing it up. I know Stalin was on the phone with me telling, okay, that's it now. Do this, do that. And like, we got it, you know, kind of thing. So it, it was very, but it was, you know, similar to you. Oh, we sent it in early in the morning. And then after school in the library, we, uh, you know, had the fake sign in and everything like that. So, I mean, look, we talked about that uh, that call I had from Coach Smith uh, when you know, Illinois and Reggie Mitchell and Ron Zook. So, like, I, I kind of had that in the back, like, hey, I was kind of going back and forth. Like, he, they didn't know that, but after he gave me that call, he kind of spooked me. But they were still like, hey, you still got time to switch, your, switch it up. Like, I'm kinda, you. Yeah, all right. I'm glad. I'm actually glad we didn't have social media like back then. Like I have to worry about all over a different now. Thing. Uh, all over now, but <laughs> I'm glad I had to be like, you know, write my whole thesis or my my statement letter. <laughs> right. Get the sure no typos. Uh oh. Okay. Oh boy, that means the pick is in. Oh, yeah, so this kicks off the signing day, but this is something that's active, like. Currently, like right, right, right now, seconds ago, right? Seconds ago in northern Michigan, in Gaylord, Michigan, Brady Pretzeloff is now a Spartan dog for life. Welcome to Spartan Nation, Brady, linebacker, 6'3, 230 pounds, very athletic guys. What can you say about this kid? Uh, this is one of those homegrown, straight up north country, like a go-getter. Um, I I feel like off of film that, you know, you can't put these comparisons. We talk about putting this pressure on comparisons on these kids, but he has that, the Watt brothers motor. Like he has a, he has a motor like that from a linebacker standpoint. That's, that's huge to put on this guy, but I just feel like that has a guy that it's gritty. 
I don't care about. I mean, we got like a Kyle Holiday Jr. on the standpoint of like no no glitch, no glam, no flair, but like gets gets it going, wants to see ball, eat ball. So and don't don't try to don't try to go at me on this one. Like don't start don't no, start why, with why, me why, too why, this why, early. No, don't start thing, with me. My it's thing is early. The, my thing is every time there's a there's a white athlete that's like really people can't just say this is an athletic guy they got to say he has a high motor he's a high motor guy but if it's a black guy oh this guy's athletic he's this he, not you but like overall in <laughs> that's something like they no, you know. <laughs> no but to to your point oh this this is a this is a stud you know this this guy is uh he, he's one of those guys that's like a throwback linebacker. You know, he's a see ball, eat ball. He's a he's a ball hawk. He's going to get there and, and and uh, you know, get to there and make a play. So this is a really good sign in Michigan State traditionally have really good linebackers, you know, throughout. And this is another guy that I think can really etch his name in Spartan laurels for, in the linebacker section. Mm, like mm -hmm. straight talk, like, straight. you know, I feel like. Each like we're gonna go across obviously the roster of commitments, but like I feel like each guy that we have is versatility. Like they're not they're not one dimensional. They're multi. So like you feel like Brady can be an edge guy, like can go a little bit outside linebacker too, depending on what the scheme of right what what, what position and what we're doing per game. But I feel like these guys have not just a one dimensional. I just play one one uh position. They can go on the edge or they can be middle linebacker, outside linebacker. You kind of see the recruits have this gift or this talent, and you kind of look at the coach. Oh. <laughs> 2 30. Oh, go ahead and roll that. Like, that's. Okay, let's look let's at go ahead and roll that. Is, is, this, is this guy a legit 2 30? Yeah, 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 man. yeah. So he, if, that, if he's six three, a legit two thirty, he's a guy that can come in and get some snaps. All right, and look, 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 look. Does this? I want to see. Does this change your your breakdown after seeing those clips to of what I, my comparison? No, no, no. I I agree with your comparison. I agree okay, with your okay. comparison. My only my only issue. Is I don't like that eye black. That's too much Aiden Hutchison for me. Oh yeah, 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 one yeah, yeah, yeah. The one eye, yeah, that one. Yeah. That's too much Hutchison for me. But we'll we'll get him right. We'll get him right. <laughs> I just want to focus on the man in coverage, and we know what we had last year, and that was Achilles' heel of like linebackers getting to the proper drops and the hip mobility of him on that first clip of getting there in that interception. Like I'm looking at a defensive side, like. This to your point, shoot. This guy can come in and make a, <laughs> a difference just on that alone of like being right. versatile, versatile in the passing game. Six three so, two thirty coming yeah, out of high man. school, and they said yeah. he can he can run. I mean, obviously you saw that I mean, you he can, almost you, you, can know, see you can see that interception. Like you know, yeah. Man. I wish we had film on all the guys, but I mean that's one guy Brady Pratzeloff that we are able to see. I mean, very athletic player. Six three two. Man, hey, look. He's D one ready to. That's, that's what, what that I'm means. If, he, yeah. if that's the yeah. case, yeah, he's the guy that you go hey, see. Shout out to Coach Rossi. Uh, yes. to get him over from Minnesota. Like I'm, I mean, good yes. one. Kudos. Good one. Kudos. Kudos. <laughs> Kudos. Without question, man. Okay. Okay. Another pick is in. All right. It looks like you know in the order of events today, Michigan State signs. Andrew Brinson, the fourth out of Tampa, Florida, Gaither High School, defensive back, 6'1, 200. Yeah, AB4. Yeah. Hey, oh, I like that. AB4. <laughs> hey, Florida connection still, you know, strong. And I heard, like, you know, this is a great relationship between Coach Blue and Andrew, uh, Andrew Brinson, the fourth. Now, he's also listed as athlete. So we talked about can he be a safety DB or corner? Uh, can he be obviously special teams, but uh, a uh, punt returner, kickoff returner? Um, but this is a good get out of Florida, understanding that you know the ties are still strong, uh, getting Spartan dogs out of the state of Florida. Um, and I think it'll you know, be the other guy that we're going to highlight in this class, the DB class of 24. Uh, it's a good opportunity to put him in there and the, the, the nucleus of what we already have coming on our roster with Tatum, Mangum. Spencer and uh and Rucker. 
Absolutely, man. Like this is this is going to be exciting. You know, with defensive backs, uh, you can't ever have too many defensive backs that are long like that, 200 pounds. They can run. Uh, it can play in the two deep right away. Um, they get coached up. Also, special teams is going to be a big one. And I know, Chu, you're very familiar with the special teams aspect of things. This is a guy who can plug and play right away in that particular position on the field. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, special teams is huge. Especially, and we we saw that. That was one of our Achilles heels this year. Um, you know, you look at that Rutgers game. You look at the Iowa game. You look at just a bunch of different things that got you in trouble. It's the special team side. And if you got guys that can come in early in today's day and age, like, no one's red shirting anymore, really. You know, you get a guy here and there that's going to red shirt, but if you're athletic and you can go, you're going to try to find a way to get on the field any way possible. And, uh, you know, once again, Spartan Nations, Florida boys. <laughs> <laughs> Got Sorry, when you say special teams, uh, I just – look, I followed two's footsteps on being the personal protector on punt, <laughs> and I, all I heard was like, Larry, Larry, Lucy, Lucy, Ricky, Ricky. <laughs> Ah, uh, PTSD, man. That's not a position. I hated that position. That personal protector, man. Like you gotta, <laughs> you gotta fill in. And like to that point, I think uh, these guys like get on the field. The way to get on the field first is through special mm -hmm. teams, and we yep. all know that you play your role on the special teams. That then gets you to the depth chart on either offense or defense. So, no, that's this is a guy that's going to probably give us some depth right there on defense and secondary, but also special teams. Without question, man. Welcome to the family. AB4, Andrew Brinson, the fourth out of Tampa, Florida. Man, let's keep it moving. Let's see who else is going to be a Spartan dog. You know, are we? Oh, okay. There was no chime on that one. But look, we got Kakai Burnett out of Hawaii. Defensive lineman, 6'3, 250 pounds. Meli Kaliki Loka. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give, give some of that to Polynesian Dumbatar. culture yeah, back. Yeah. Right, going you know, into the Hall of Fame, but, right? So you know, yeah. keeping that lineage and that that uh, those ties strong. It's been a while since we've had uh, a guy, obviously from Hawaii, and um, I think this is a dude that has a uh, you know the strength, the physicality, um, very upside from a standpoint of uh, uh, his ceiling is big, it's it's, it's high. So I think. We obviously have guys that hit that portal, and we're depleting on that D line uh, standpoint. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what he can do for the for the green and white. Welcome to the family. At the uh, Vienna sausage and spam and rice. Uh, oh, a lot of spam yeah. out that way. Yeah. That, that. You look. I think we had Mael Gote, Gaote as far as the Polynesian players. You know, going mm -hmm. all the way back to Baba Pisa. Baba Pisa. The Peco yep. mm -hmm. lineage Peco. that we had for yeah. a while. You know, you got to get them back, you know. Exactly. Like uh, D-line coach. Uh, what's the name? Lonnie, what's the D-line coach's name? You got to get all right with these new guys. Mm -hmm. You do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it helps, man. Like, just having all the different players from around the country uh, coming to green and white. That's far as you can go, pretty much, to get to Michigan, of get you know, and still be the United States of America. So, welcome to the family, Kakai Burnett. Uh, can't wait to see you in the green and white here. And let's see. Okay, okay, okay. The assignment is in. Okay. <laughs> for the next signee for Michigan State football for the 2024 class, we have Austin Clay, wide receiver out of Cleveland, Ohio, 6'1, 170 pounds. Cleveland! <laughs> the, the land. The, the land. land. Yeah, because yeah. I talk, talked about like this guy is, uh, he has some, some speed. And we, 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 we addressed this yesterday's show. Uh, you know, being out of Ohio, the state of football uh, in Ohio is, is strong. And for him to be uh, a first team guy in this division, 1,600 all purpose yards, we need a guy to be able to feel like we need production in the return game. Like we had, I think we got real spoiled with Jaden Reed because, you know, it's every touch he, he was trying to do something dynamic. We need that back. I feel like we've, we've had that consistently in the past. So we need somebody to be able to come back in, in the back end and give us some boost and put us in position um, offensively uh, from kick our return and, and, and punt return. So uh, this is also going to be an opportunity to get, you know, groomed by Coach Hawk. And uh, it kind of gives you that size, the same height, a little bit as Coach Hawk. Um, but being able to, to get some tutelage from him uh, is going to be good. So welcome to the family. All day long. 
Amen. Yes, sir. That's Can't it. Have got no wide receivers from the land. The land getting athletes in here and Otis be act, acting like he didn't. He had one pair of gloves his whole career. There's a message, John Blair. His son said oh, you gave him God. your gloves too. Yeah, so, so I was wearing one glove <laughs> <laughs> for two years. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> no, I was, well, that's when I start, start started. I was like, "Oh, they yeah, like, treat you different when you hit the depth chart. You starting, you know what I mean? When yeah, she start, go, like, go 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 Mr. Nick, yeah, Mr. Gotta Nick, like, oh, so. whatever you want, yo, you want. <laughs> All right, <laughs> with the next selection for the 2024 class, Michigan State Spartans have Makai Frazier, running back, McKinney, Texas. 5'11", 215-pound ball of lightning. True. I want to say, like, when you came in, what was your – what was your – you was same height. What was your weight coming in? Well, I came in almost – I was 215. See, like, okay. that. that's that's a kid that – I want – you seen his highlights. We I talked to him. I was 215 when I came in in June, and by what camp started from that, Coach Manny and all that, true workouts, I was 235. Ooh, he was on that. Hey, he was on that seafood oh. diet. <laughs> seafood diet. <clears throat> yeah, but this kid's going to be a dynamic player. Um, you know, he's a kid from Texas. Um, you know, Otis is already in love with him because he's a Texas guy. Uh, but you know, this is a kid that's going to be able to to you know get in early. And I think the biggest thing is the biggest challenge that he's going to have, and this is a challenge for every single high school running back coming to college, is playing without the ball in your hand because. When you're in high school, you're getting the ball 60, 70 percent of the time. That's going to be in your hand. Now it's going to be playing without the ball in your hand. How are you going to be able to pick up blitzes? How are you going to be able to block in the in the pass game? Those are things. Those are that's the only thing that can stop you from playing as a true freshman or so as a running back because it's it's your nature. You're going to get the ball. You're going to run with it. But playing without the ball in your hands, if he can come in and he can learn the scheme, pick up the blitzes. He's going to be a, good, a kid that's going to be in right away this year. We can't wait for that. Being a linebacker better than a running back. Like, yes, he was a great running back on his highlights, but I was more intrigued by how he was covering as a linebacker and he and, and hitting. I think that's going to add more volume to him being able to fill the holes in pass protection because he knows obviously what a linebacker has to think about right. coming, coming at. So, exactly. you know, I think there's going to be a huge uh, opportunity to, to add more talent to that running back room that already has, you know, with Nathan Carter, a vet, you got Mangum as a vet, Berger as a vet. So having him come in, getting that, that leadership and that, that, uh, you know, Spartan dog love, welcome to the running back room. I can't wait for him to, I hope, I hope the Ducky brothers already gave him a shout and call and talk to him, but if not, we got to go ahead and do that too with them. But um, this is a good get, um, you know, for the green and white. Absolutely. A guy that Coach Smith said in his press conference, and Trevor, you put it in the chat here, he wants to use him at the running back position. That's where they see him in his future. For the next selection for the 2024 class, Michigan State University football team, Michigan State Science, Wyatt Hook, tight end, six foot six, 245 pounds, out of Cupertino, California. Cupertino, that's where Apple six, is and six, Google. Six. That's, that's that. That's that tech world there that uh, – you know, so he's he's a, he's a guy that's going to be he's he's going to come in and provide depth, you know, at the position. So uh, it's a really good sign in. Um, you know, it's it's so crazy looking at the the map here. The lot of West Coast uh, f fingerprints on there. These guys coming in here, but you know, we talk about you know that. You know, you come to Michigan State now because it's a lot easier because your family can watch you play now because, you know, they're going to be part of the Big Ten Conference. They're going to be a lot of that showing on, on that side of the country. So, you know, this guy here, you know, um, a hell, hell of a player in high school. He's going to come and provide that here. Uh, he has a great football name as well, Wyatt, you know. Hopefully he, he brings it. I was about to say, part of, I was like, that mullet, like, you already can tell he's all about that business. <laughs> all about that action, boss. <laughs> Six, what'd you say? Six foot six, two forty five, two thirty five. Two thirty five. Yeah, that's the biggest difference the, the, between the three star and the four star is that they just got to put a little weight on. You know, I mean, he's got the frame. Obviously, he's got the football skills. Just needs to put a little weight on, get in that weight room, which you know they're gonna do in short order with the new facilities over in uh, the football building at Michigan State. So, I mean, can't wait to see him arrive in East Lansing. Had a great uh, time with him. I know the family was here a couple of weeks ago. 
Uh, so welcome to Spartan Nation, Mr. Hook. And the hook, is that what it is? Yes, Okay. Is. Pick is in. And for the next signee of the 2024 class for Michigan State football, Ryland Jesse, quarterback, San Diego, California, 6'4", 200 pounds. 6'4", 200 pounds. Look, I think this is we, – we talked about the quarterbacks, like all three left. <laughs> so we had to get – in the middle, like three weeks time span, we had to find uh, some some gaps to fill quickly. And I think this guy fits the mode of like a Coach Smith, knowing like this is the stature of what he wants uh, from a quarterback. You know, you already got Aiden Childs, and then you got, you know, the other quarterback we're going to announce, obviously, hopefully soon. Uh, but from a standpoint of Ryland being uh, real green of coming in, uh, There's going to be an opportunity to get some 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 good toolage from Coach Smith in the offensive scheme, and I feel like this guy is going to be a guy that's going to get some opportunity, but will be redshirted, um, and you got you know maybe a year or two to get groomed to then be able to take the helm. But uh, this is a good get coming from uh, from from Ryan and Jesse joining us join the squad. Without question, I mean it's a guy who Coach Smith talked about in his press conference. Uh, that they've known a lot. They've tracked him. They recruited him while at Oregon State. I believe he was committed to Utah State, uh, but Michigan State was able to now with the new staff from Oregon State flip him and bring him into the green and white. Uh, you know, I think he slants a little better than over whatever it is in Utah State. Uh, not Nothing against Utah, but I think that uh, he'll enjoy his time in the green and white. So congratulations to Rylan, Jesse, and family uh, for joining Michigan State football. Now, The next pick is in Rakeem Johnson, offensive lineman out of Boise, Idaho, six foot three, 265 pounds. This guy's an absolute athlete. He's going to be a guy that his, 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 uh, his film, you know, demonstrates that he's an athlete and, uh, you know, they're obviously going to have to put some weight on him. You know, you would know better in this stray here, but you know, he's definitely has to, he has to frame that he can put more weight on. And if he keep that athleticism, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with in this league. Uh, without question, guys. Straight, what, straight. What did you say after we, you saw those clips late last night? Hey, man. Hey, that's an athlete. He's very fluid. <laughs> I mean, he can move. And, and he can make, he, he's, he has great instincts. You know, they talk about him being able to dunk and things like that. Uh, as an offensive lineman, he's a little undersized right now at 265 pounds. Uh, the lot, a lot of the recruiting sites had him at 255. But it, again, that's the difference between the fours and the fives and the three star. Just need to put on a little bit more of that grown man body. And I think he will. Uh, this is instincts that he has aren't really things that you can teach people, uh, especially when he pulls out in the space. Uh, very eager to make contact with people in the second and third level, which I love to see that. And uh, now it, you can't cut players anymore. You can't go down at their knees. So you have to be athletic enough to be able to catch them on the fly. And as defensive players get more and more athletic, you have to counter that with athletic offensive linemen. So great ad, Raheem Johnson, to the Spartan Nation football family. Welcome. We can't wait to have you over here from old Boise, Idaho. You know? Yeah, so that Liberian blood in them. Yeah. Oh, is that why he's so? Is that why he's so? Oh, athletic? look at him. Look, that's, that's why stand he's up, so, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's so athletic. Yeah. Yeah. He's that that's good the, jalaf. The jalaf. <laughs> <laughs> What's that pepper soup? That pepper soup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, there's been a lot of talk in the chat about a specific player. I, I, I believe we have some intelligence that. Another pick is in, and it is, in fact, Justin Denson, athlete, three star, does sign with Michigan State. It's official, everybody. Hey, I think this this cat right here, um, so fresh. You know, we have a graphic. I know, so fresh. So <laughs> I feel like he he's under the radar, like three star. But I mean, you got twenty eight offers. Uh, you know, the, if you look at hit him like you got some Alabamas you got Florida o o Oklahoma you know out of P Pennsylvania this guy is a 6'1 180 and you, you talk about it is because of his weight uh is this guy could be a corner and a safety 
But to be adding to the group of DB, this is a strong DB class when you think about it. Uh, to get one, two, three, four DBs, uh, or actually, yeah, four DBs, that's huge. Uh, so welcome, Justin. I mean, I know it was tough to be like, this is the last second, like, this is <laughs> last second flip uh, for him. And so I know this is a huge celebration. I know the coaching staff is ecstatic to add him to the, to the, the class. Uh, but welcome. Welcome to the secondary, man. Let's bring that no-fly zone back. I know everybody wants it back, so let's get it back, baby. Yeah, and it's going to take everybody that's here. That, and these guys, these young cats here that's coming in, you know, they're going to have to sit and they're going to learn from these older guys that, that have in-game experience. So that's why it's going to be something that's so unique and something so cool to see is, you know, the mesh and, you know, all of them coming together and, you know, teaching the, the, the Tatums, the Rutgers, all those guys teaching these young guys so that, you know, it's it's fluid. Everyone, if there is no drop off, whoever's in, you know, can go out there and ball. So that is, you know, having that depth at that position is absolutely huge. Yeah, and, and note to all the, the people who give the stars out, who that whoever those guys are, I don't know who they are. They're in the room, guys and girls, I don't know. But when you have interests like this guy has interest, you know, Alabama, Arizona State, Arkansas, Florida, like it's not really a three star, uh, just just for future reference. And then some of these five stars I see that only have, you know, Akron. I, I don't know. But listen, welcome to the family, Justin Denson uh, out of Kingston, Pennsylvania, Wyoming Seminary School. So listen, man, this is a defensive back athlete, 6'2", 185 pounds. Can't wait to get him in the green and white here. Uh, enjoy it with your family and celebrate because this is your time, man. This is going to be a, a big get uh, when we look back historically at this day for Mr. Denson. <laughs> Guys, I mean, we're going to have to do this one twice. Like, instead of getting one, like, these are my fellas right here. You're talking about offensive linemen, the Luneski brothers. Okay, let's do the brothers. We got Char Charlton. The brothers. Yes, and Mercer, <laughs> both of them. You know, I can't – they're attached at the hip, as Coach Smith talked about earlier today in his press conference. Uh, they've been a phenomenal uh, in the recruiting process and trying to get more players in this class. Big athletes, 6'5", 275 pounds for Charlton and Mercer, 6'6", 305. We can put his graphic up in a second. I uh, can't tell him apart, but definitely can't wait to have him on that offensive line. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's that's a big ad, you know, having those two bodies there, you know, coming out of Cincinnati, you know, eating all that skyline chili. Uh, <laughs> so it's, <laughs> it's going to be, you know, chili should not be that sweet. <laughs> right, right. Cincinnati. And we'll yes. have that much cheese on it. But, um, you know, <laughs> the thing is, you know, like this is going to be this is a, a key position for Michigan state, you know, that offensive line, uh, you know, if we want to have success, we can have all the skill players. We can have, you know, all the running backs, quarterbacks, everything, but we have to sure up and solidify that offensive line. And by bringing these two, these two in, you know, this is an opportunity to do that. And it's going to be an opportunity for everyone to compete. And uh, hopefully we can start to develop these guys. So to turn to consistent players and we can have a consistent rotation of the offensive linemen. That's right. Yeah, man. and Trevor put in a chat, which we did have that uh, photo of Mama Trump making those shirts for for, for them during that uh, official visit. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, we talk about the weight that they're carrying, 305, you can't really tell. No, so that's actually, uh, it's kind of scary to understand, like, once they get to the system of strength conditioning, and that turns into some more muscle mass, like, you know, they, they're athletes, you know, they're very dynamic, and he, Coach Smith said they got big, loud personalities. And uh, I feel like when offensive linemen are just linemen in general, when they got those, like they go out there and just ball out and have fun. Um, and so hopefully we'll, we'll see these guys make the transition smoothly. Uh, but I ne obviously never played offensive linemen, but I know that's a whole different ball game trying to learn a scheme. So we, hopefully they can, they can learn this offensive scheme and get prepared. But straight, what do you think these guys, you know, timeline is on getting on the field uh, and, and making a difference? You know, they, they they don't have a lot of football history in them. They, they relate to the game. I think they only played as juniors, and they really started taking off this past camp season, and they're just starting to figure things out. But with this type of size and athleticism and talent that they have, and the more reps they get and the more they understand it, they get into a college system, they're watching film, they're lifting weights, and they're moving 
human beings that, you know, are 300 plus pounds and understand that can hold the point of attack. It's going to take a little bit of adjustment for them, but that's normal for offensive linemen. I think that they have all the tools that are required of players, you know, like to see what their, their, their footwork and hands. It's all it's really about feet and hands, man. Can you move them laterally and be quick with them and be able to pass protect? That's most important because you got a lot of players back there called quarterbacks that we have to keep clean. And these guys, uh, the Lesky brothers are the ones who are going to have the attitude, that infectious attitude that can light up a whole uh, football building. So I'm excited to see these guys get to East Lansing and get to work here uh, coming home from Cincinnati, uh, Ohio. Guys, like, you know, look. This next pick, I, I feel like he's a third-year player. <laughs> but, no, he's really not even on campus yet, and that is the one, the only – Nick Megatron Marsh uh, out of Baton, well, no, not Baton Rouge, River Rouge, the Rouge. <laughs> Batten down the hatches, baby. Nick Marsh, official. Yeah, yeah I woke up this morning and uh, I went through, um, you know, because every, every time I wake up in the morning, what I do, I do two things. Once I wake up a little extra early, so I, I lay in bed and I read the newspaper from my hometown just to see what's happening there, check the police report, see none of my boys are in trouble. But then, and then after that, I scrolled to Twitter. And then what popped on Twitter was uh, that video of Nick's commitment. And, you know, Mama Tron, she's like, finally, it's here, you know, East, East Lansing, um, all that. And I watched that video again. And, uh, you know, Nick is an exciting player. He's a guy that he stuck tr true to Michigan State. Yeah, he did, you know, say he wanted to check other things out, and rightfully so, because there was a change. You know, I did the same thing when there was a change of coaches. But, um, he, you know, he was able to, to do that. And, um, you know, this is a guy that's going to come in and he's going to have the opportunity to play right away um, in this offense. And there's going to be a lot of explosive plays from this guy. Um, before Otis jumps in real quick, what's up to my boy Sean watching and uh, pet Stella for us and go green. I saw Sean at the Little Caesars game uh, yeah. on Saturday. I was walking down with something. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he say he wasn't going to that game? He did say he wasn't going to that game. <laughs> Oh man, no. You look. We we can talk all the time about about Mr. Marsh Megatron. Like we we've been talking about him obviously since day one. That I I do appreciate guys that one sticks to their commitment. And yeah, you did you did go out there and you you saw like see what was on the greener prat or was it greener pastures on the other side and realizing like look man we got it all here uh, just like everybody else. But the hometown, home field, home state. It's nothing like it, you know, coming from, from the state of Michigan, playing for the green and white. So I respect him for staying 10 toes down and then rallying the troops around him. And, you know, and then Mama Tron, uh, we have a strong group of, of player moms, right? Like, I feel like historically, you know, our, our mothers were very right. involved too. So uh, I think this is a huge culture guy. Like, this guy is he, – he wants to win. And we feel that. And when he says him and Aiden Child are going to make history – like right then and there, like he's talking the talk, and we already know he's gonna walk the walk. So, welcome, officially, officially, yeah. welcome, welcome, Megatron, yeah. Nick Marsh. To the you squad. talk about him staying, talk about him being ten toes down here. If he went to Colorado, <laughs> couldn't say that. Oh, you didn't hear it. oh man, what eight hey, toes what? down? Is that an eight toe? Oh, <laughs> another pick, man, and for another quarterback for the 2024 class for Michigan State football, they had. Alessio Milivojavic, quarterback out of Wheaton, Illinois, St. Francis High School, 6'2", 205 pounds. Yeah, I'm seeing this guy, Phil. Uh, sometimes <laughs> that, that football gets out of the frame and it just drops <laughs> right in the very basket. Like, strong arm. He can decide when he runs. He's, he's a, a force to be reckoned with on that, that end. This is a good – kind of yin and yang to Aiden Childs. I feel like being back up and then you got uh, Ryland, uh, Ryland. So I think this is a good opportunity to bring him obviously on the back of uh, Aiden Childs commitment signing um, that we got good three core QBs to, to really take us to the next phase of Spartan football. Um, go ahead, Chu. 
Yeah, absolutely. This guy, he he can definitely throw in. One thing that I like about him, he played his high school ball and you know, out you say in Illinois, I believe, right? And uh he 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 played in, in cold weather. So that that is something when you get to that November, you know, in you know, those last four games in November, that's something huge. If a quarterback can spin it in that kind of weather, it's gonna be it's it's you know, it's it's really good and it's key. Um, so I'm really excited about that, that fact there. And I think he's a guy, I love his size. I, I love what he brings to the game. And to your point, Otis, he can he can definitely throw the hell out of that football. And it does leave the frame. It does, doesn't it? I'm sorry. I kept looking like, am I missing? Like, so, like I'm like, where'd the ball go? I'm like, right. <laughs> exactly. He, he's good at throwing those, uh, you know, they call those chimney balls. And if you get, you get guys, you get receivers like that, you just tell them run, you know, what they call a chimney ball. Um, Santa Claus is too fat to go down the chimney. So he just drops the presents in, you know, that's that chimney ball right there. I was just going to use the word moxie. Uh, <laughs> when he got a lot of moxie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas. Uh, with the next signee for the 2024 class of Michigan State football, Michigan State gets Peyton Stewart, offensive lineman, six foot seven, 270 pounder from Kelso, Washington. Hey, we got we got like the height, the height requirements for offensive lineman. You're like you're seeing, <laughs> you're seeing that height, right? You're seeing that height. You're seeing like he looks lean too. Oh, yeah. So you're gonna put in basketball some player. Yeah, He's dunking. Like, I seen him dunking. So yeah. Now are we talking like I ain't no. trying to knock Carson Cooper because sometimes he don't get up off the ground, but he's just tall. But like we talking like get hype Duncan, or we just saying because he's six seven. We talking just, about six plus. seven Duncan, like Carson <laughs> Cooper. Now we talk. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, listen. Offensive lineman. If you could get the ball a real regulation basketball and dunk it, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Now we talking about my, windmills and three sixty. Yeah, that's like, my, my to question to you, Stray. My question to you, Stray, is um, yeah. can, can we can we put that picture back up, Tony? Can, can, no, don't, can, mind, don't mind, don't mind, don't mind my dog running around with a toy. <laughs> so, like Stray, like, in you talk about the evolution of the game. So, in your time, if you came in, like, your lineman came out there with the sleeve on, the bands on. Oh, what do you guys? <laughs> Man, listen, if, if I didn't have them in my own house, I would I would still be like, ah, you know, but like it's it's what it is now. It's all That's what I said, the evolution. And, 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 yeah, like because you see guys like at the highest level that are execute that, that are playing at a very, very high level, like Trent Williams. OK, Trent Williams is all sleeved up, tatted up, you know, got all the sweet spats and all that stuff. And he's probably one of the best to ever do it. OK. You know, before you didn't see that, you know, you right. had guys like, you know, Anthony Munoz guys, you know, guys who just got it done. Yeah, they were very, milk you know, just no sleeves, no tats, socks all the way up, you know, very generic. Now it's not that way, man. You know, they're coming out of line. Like, you got to market yourself. Yeah. What, I, what, what the office in line like want to do the crop top with their shirt hanging? Like, what did that happen? Because I feel I, like I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's somewhere in that like 2007 to 12, right in there. It kind of there was a shift where that's like because these girls are like these big swaggy. boys now. They, they're like yeah. girls, so like they, they're showing their <laughs> they got leaner. You see yeah. that they, everybody's lean, they can run. You let them, you, yes, yes, they're flexible, they can get out and run. And hey, we got to keep saying we got to welcome to the juice squad. He's yeah, well, yeah, well, we got to see if there's still a juice guy. You know, we don't know. We don't know. But it is welcome to the offensive line. But with the next signee for the 2024 class, Michigan State football, signs Jalen Thompson, defensive back, 6'1", 190 pounds from Mumfordsboro, Tennessee. I've heard a number of great things about this, this, this guy. And then, obviously, his counterpart, who we're going to announce later, later on the show. But um, when you got guys that come from the same high school – so you already know how we like we roll. If I had a guy like that was lined up next to me, and we're going to play at the same same t same college team, like you already know, like we got to get on the field quickly. But these guys are like, you know, are attacking the air. Like you look at their highlights, they're going out and they're being aggressive. You know, I <clears throat> I used to be like very. I mean, I'm selfish as a defensive back. Like PBUs are great, pass breakups are great. It, it gets you off the field. But when you make that money, is when you convert those to interceptions and you start taking them to the crib. And I think those are the elements that we kind of switch, switch around. I used to get so pissed. 
I'm like, I don't want no pass breakup. Yeah, if I'm there, like, pick it off. I used to get bad at Nemo, Nemo man, Nehemiah Ward. Like, Nemo wanted to knock your block off. But if you are in, in the vicinity to hit hard, you can pick the ball off, in my opinion. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I think these, this guy right here, Jalen Thompson, speed, uh, good with his hips and, and feet. I think it's really getting some weight on him, getting some strength, some some being you know in the weight room um, because you want to endure tackling. And the coach Blue talking to him briefly, he's like, we're going to emphasize tackling, sound tackling um, in the secondary. Which we already got guys like D- Dylan and Rucker, man. Like they they hit, you know, they like to hit. Uh, Malik too, Jaden like Mang- or Mangum, all of them like to hit. Now it's got to wrap up because we can't just be knocking people out and our shoulders out too. So I think this is an element Jalen coming in in that DB room. It's that DB room is is Depth, depth chart is is extensive, so if one goes down, hopefully we don't have a drop off and the guy goes in and, and plays well. Okay, hey, listen, you gotta love that. You just teased it a minute ago, and we're gonna just go right with his teammate out of Memphisboro, Tennessee. That's Keyshawn Williams, defensive back, six one, one hundred seventy pounds. Hey, look, that's like I like. I kind of like this background. We gotta address this photo shoot like that backdrop, like that's like. We talk about. Are you saying you want to get in the uniform and take your? No, own absolutely not. Again? Absolutely not. No, <laughs> I'm just like I'm. A, I'm gonna throw. Out, I'm gonna stay in my element. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in my element. 2005. We're good. No, I'm saying from uh, you know, just like the press conference and announcement wasn't so much flair. Like we are like even socially announcing is very like, hey, we're about about like you said business. Like we're talking about blue collar. Uh, this guy looks like even just sitting down, long arms. Uh, you kind of look at a wingspan of a DB. Like you got long arms, you're able to go ahead and press press man. Um, I don't want no belling, like no more bell. Let's go ahead and hit him in the mouth off the line. And I think these guys, these two combo guys from the same high school, same town, put it on for Tennessee, the state of Tennessee. Welcome, welcome to East Lansing, Beast Lansing, fellas. All day long. Hey, you know, in the next one, I think we're gonna have this one. This is off the chew. This is the chew. Next selection, the signee for the 2024 class of Michigan State football is none other than running back Brandon Tullis, 6'1", 215 pounds out of Frisco, Texas. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I'm talking about, you know, getting running backs in here. We need to establish that, and I think Brandon is a guy, you know, playing in Texas, you know, um, that is, you know, big-time football, and if he can, you know, play there – and you can come in here and you can because right now, you know, the running back room there, there's Nate and other guys have to go and prove themselves, you know, to see who's going to be, you know, the guy there with Nate. Nate can't shoulder the, the entire burden this whole year. So these running backs are coming in with the opportunity to showcase and show that, hey, you know, I can get some time on the field as well. But like I said before, the big thing is playing without the ball in your hands and whoever can do that the best, who can identify blitzes, who can know, hey, this linebacker is coming or he's not, uh, work with that old, you know, understand what the offensive line does, understand, you know, your pre-snap reads for runs. That's going to be the thing to to get you on the field. So another big ad and uh, really excited about that. Absolutely, man. Look, this, this class is rounding out pretty well. And... <clears throat> Do we have any more picks there? Any more signings? There is one more. One That's more. Rustin Young, offensive lineman, six foot five, two hundred seventy-five pounds, just around the corner at Honolulu, Hawaii. <laughs> right around the corner. Those <laughs> boys, they're going to be giving away a lot of tickets too. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe Mom and them going to move over this way. I don't know. You got That's that nil thing nowadays. I don't know. That Man. is true. This is another athletic offensive lineman again. He's 6'5, 275. You can see that graphic. Look at look at how lean he is. Uh, but the thing that I love about that, Stray, I'm sorry to cut you off. The thing I love about those guys from there and the like the, the Hawaiian boys, the Polynesian, there's that um that bully mentality that they bring to them. You know, that that oh, yeah. bulldog. That warrior. Bulldog. We talk about warrior. That's a warrior mentality. Yeah, exactly. You know, always finishing, finishing, finishing. And uh so that is something I'm excited to see. Um, you know you know, how that translates to college ball now. So um, really excited about this guy. I think, uh, once again, adding depth, and he's a guy that's going to have to put some weight on and coming, you know, those guys from Hawaii, um, Samoa, 
it's not, it doesn't take much to put weight on. So <laughs> they're gonna do wow. that and they'll be all right. Just get a little older. That's it. When he's 17, 18 <laughs> years old. It's gonna happen in time. And, and two four seven says he's the number one player in the state of Hawaii as well. So very excited to have uh, you know Rustin Young here in the green and white, signed, sealed, and delivered, guys. I mean, I guess it's very uh, special that we know too. So far, eighteen out of the nineteen commitments have signed, and look, class is shaping up really, really good. Not a lot of fanfare, not a lot of flair, as you talked about, Otis. But definitely a nice building block, foundation to this uh, particular uh, roster. And what Coach Smith has looked at is that we can add players to this roster all year round now with the way college football is set up. Uh, he's very keen on that. You have another signing day coming up in February. But all in all, very good for the 2024 class. Yeah, and I think you got, we got to give a shout out to Coach Smith and his staff for coming in quickly, assembling Three a weeks. class. Three yeah. weeks, you know, assembling a class that's that's like this, and uh, inside the, you know, in within the top sixty, maybe even higher than that, you know, going into, you know, by the end of the day. So I think that's something that, you know, as Otis would say, kudos to this co to Coach Smith and his staff for, you know, assembling something like this. And like I, we said this last night, we said it all the time, Spartan Nation, Spartan fans, there is something to be excited. There is light at the end of the tunnel for Spartan football. You know, it's it's not without reason that you can't talk about, hey, you know, are we bowling next year? You know, those are the types of things that, that you can start to, you know, speak into existence right now. So I'm excited about where the program is going, the trajectory of the program right now. Um, so I love the fact there's stability there. You guys are coming in and believing in what the coaches are, 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 are telling them in such short period of time. So really excited about that. And I think, uh, you know, this, the future is, is bright for Spartan football. Absolutely. Where are we at, Otis? I mean, look, I mean, right now it looks like Michigan State's ranked about 38th overall. I believe that's where it is. Uh, yeah, and your goal, you said your goal is like we got to at least be 50. Right. That's, like, that's yeah, huge. Like, right. That's, 38, that. that's huge. That's impressive. Yeah, I think I've got this right. I'm looking at 247, you know, overall rank. It says, yeah, you know, 38. I mean, that's, that's pretty strong. Yeah, so, that's impressive. Yeah, it is. Uh, for a staff that just got here, right. literally just <laughs> just got here. They don't even, you know, Jonathan Smith just said in his press conference today that he has not really been around campus much. They don't even know where Wix is campus. yet. They don't know. See, true. They will, they will never right. know. We're going to set up that at. meeting. <laughs> <laughs> you was over there talking to Urban a couple of weeks back. I remember that. You, you got him off the, you know. Yeah, they don't even know where Wix is <laughs> They yet. will never know. They will never know. <laughs> they don't know. They don't oh, know. guys. I mean, this is a great little show here to get everybody caught up on who the current uh, signees are from Michigan State for the 2024 class. Uh, we really appreciate everybody joining us uh, for this snapshot of a show. And want to thank Chu, Otis, and Stray for great coverage of MS Sports, MSU Sports all year. Thank you, Trevor. You guys are awesome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and all of your families out there in Spartan Nation. Uh, we will do a show tomorrow night, and then we're going to just – kind of take some time off to enjoy our families as well we're going to have a i think one show around the christmas holiday after that kinda. he said kind of take some time off <laughs> kind of well when we break we break <laughs> hey man I'm, I'm driving a long way you know that so y'all just sit by the the, the, the right i'm a straight drive now eggnog and chew i know your eggnog is going to be spirit free i don't like eggnog <laughs> i know you, you just like the other stuff <laughs> give, give me the whole pie or none at all. <laughs> then, no, you, everybody have a happy, uh, blessed uh, Christmas or holiday season. And we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow and beyond. Guys, final thoughts before we get out of here. No, I just want to say welcome to the young dogs coming in, man. Uh, you know, great selection. I'm glad you, you chose to to be in to wear the green and white. So uh, I know. It's not over, obviously. You sign, still deliver, but there's still work to do. It's honest. I feel like the coaching staff and their testament and their testimonials, too, like we got some work to do. Uh, this is a great class. So welcome to, to the Spartan Dog family and uh, can't wait to see you on campus uh, starting in, in January. 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, guys that, that sign today, enjoy it. Take a step back. Take a moment. Uh, reflect. Enjoy it because it was all that hard work that got you here. Thank your parents. Thank your grandparents, whoever it is that helped get you to this position that you're in now. But keep in mind, at the end, of the, the work starts now. <laughs> you know, all that stuff. It's fun. Now the work starts now. You know, there's lots to ahead. So enjoy the moment. And uh, hey, appreciate everyone that tuned in today on, on, on a work day. That's right. We really appreciate you guys. All those stars, everybody, all the kids that are out there worrying about their stars and their rankings. You can take those stars, ball them up, throw them out now. You're Spartans now. It's time to play some football. Big time Division One college football. Welcome, everybody, for this. Merry Christmas to everybody in the chat. Happy holidays. For Otis Wiley, J.U. Coke, I'm Jason Strayhorn. This is Sparta MSU. Have a good night. God bless you. And go green. Go white. Go white. This is Sparta MSU is a combined presentation of Playfly Sports Properties and Michigan State Sports Properties. The show is produced by Tony LaBarbera, Tony Gastella, and Process Driven Consulting. Additional support is provided by Brendan Duravage. On location technical support provided by Good Fruit Video. Be sure to follow our host, Jason Strayhorn, J.U. Culprit, and Otis Wiley on social media. To stay up to date with all the latest This is Sparta news, please like and subscribe by visiting our link tree and tell a friend to do the same. Thank you for your support. And as always, go green.